All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some spinnerbait fishing with this freaking Mondo spinnerbait. This is like a 10 inch spinnerbait. Uh, Western Monster Vibe, I think it is. Um, but yeah, kinda, the, the goal when I went out to make this video was to film a video fishing with some big weedless shads. Um, but like fifth cast, I only took one with me as well, which is a bit stupid, but like fifth cast, cast it out. Managed to get it wrapped around a tree. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't coming back, <laughs> snapped that off. Um, but yeah, after that, I just thought, you know what? I've not used a spinnerbait in about two years. Um, so I'll just tie one of them on and yeah, kind of relearn spinnerbait fishing. It's, it's like the last sort of lure in my box that I'd tie on normally. So yeah, wanted to, get back into it, get a bit more confidence in it, you know, confidence that I've lost from not using it for so long. Um, and such a, I've never used such a big spinnerbait either, so yeah, double Colorado blades on this, so it gives out a ton of, ton of vibration, nice big curly tail trailer as well, so yeah, we were not too bad session, so you'll see the footage now anyway, and uh, hope you find it enjoyable. Yes. First spinnerbait pike for a, a long time, that. <laughs> Just get this hook out of the net and then I'll show you him. And the uh, big west in. It's not a bad fish for this place, to be fair. Got all parasites on him. Smash that out in open water. Yeah. Whoa. Steady old lad. What? I'd say that's about five. Five pound maybe. Not a bad little fish for a spinnerbait. Get him pulled back. Boom, off he goes. First time using this Westin spinnerbait. First time actually using a spinnerbait in probably two years, I'd say. So that was sweet. Just thought I'd try something a bit different today. Seems I lost two layers already. Whoa, my. Huge perch just for this. Nice being a bit higher up and you can see what's following and everything. Wish I had more time on here today. There's so much to cast to. Really, we've got about an hour, if that I'd say. But yeah, it's just like perfect 
ambush points all the way down the canal so it'll make it harder to pick out the pike because they'll be more spread out but you know gives me more stuff to cast out so that's pretty cool I've already caught one anyway, so off to a good start. on the trout <laughs> yes little guy he smashed it though absolutely nailed it then <laughs> yes oh it's not too bad it's not as small as I thought it was there we go what is smaller than that last one Himself wrapped up good and proper here. Oh, he's got himself on there. Proper rock and missed the stinger, so there we go. At least he didn't have both hooks in him then. Just a little guy. One or two pound maybe. But yeah, spinner bait. Smashing him out. Look at this guy put back. He's off. Cool. Two fish. Short session. Both on the Western Spinnerbait. I forgot the name of it though. <laughs> but yeah, they, when they hit this, they absolutely crush it. So, sick. So, one fish casting, one fish trolling so far. Prefer getting them casting, but it's nice getting that hit when you're trolling as well. I can't believe how quick it's getting dark. <laughs> well, on the way back to the car now, since it's nearly dark. Didn't have quite as long fishing as I hoped. Um, got dark a bit earlier than I thought it would, but had about an hour and a half of the spinnerbait, so not a bad little session. Got some new confidence in it anyway, so that's all I wanted to achieve. A couple of nice healthy fish. So I put in a bit of uh, bit of meat on them as well. Now water's cooling down, so fingers crossed, start getting a few better better sized fish soon. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So. Hope you've enjoyed it and if I catch another fish on the trawl back to the car I'll put it in but if not I'll catch you guys next time. Ooh, he's got bumped by something. Probably a perch to be honest. They have been loving it today.
there's a fish. Oh, it's come off. Oh, nearly had that third fish in the dark then. Damn it. I don't even know how that fish saw the lure then. Freaking storming down with it pretty much and well, yeah, don't see how dark it is on GoPro here. Yeah. Damn. He was on for a little while, that guy, but yeah. Through the hooks, how well. At least I know they'll still hit it when it's this dark. There's one. That's a bear fish. That's a bear fish. Oh no. God damn, that was a good fish then. I can't believe I just lost another. That felt mint, that. Felt like a really nice fish. Damn it. So annoying. That did feel like a really good fish, that. Jesus. Well, it's been a bit works when it's dark anyway. <laughs> Found that out too. Two hits in the dark. Two hits in the daylight. Shame both at night time ones have come off, but man, I did that felt like a real that was a really solid fish that. Like I couldn't move him with the rod, you know what I mean? I could feel him pulling me rather than me pulling him, so yeah, lost a good fish there in the dark, but you know.